What's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, being subbed. If you're not, hit the button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit the like. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into this conversation. So I was sent this video and a few people inboxed me and they just wanted to know what I thought about this moment of Iyanla at the Hollywood Unlocked Awards and presenting this award of perseverance to Jonathan Majors and how he just pretty much broke down in her arms, how she embraced him and just was really consoling him and letting him know, hey baby, it's gonna be okay. (laughs) Listen, I saw the video. I obviously don't have a dog in a fight. I don't know any of these people personally. But what I will say is that I feel that a lot of people have some smoke or a little bit of steam when it comes to Iyanla because some people just really see her as more male identified. Uh, Some people, they, you know, have given her the label of being a, you know, I'm just saying what people said, a pick me and that she seems to be harsher on women than she is on the men. So knowing Jonathan Major's issues, the charges that he has had, the convictions and, you know, the video and and even his history of dating, a lot of African-American women feel like, listen, that's his fight to fight. We ain't in it and we don't want nothing to do with it. And I understand that. I really do. But what I will say is this, I definitely understand people's thoughts when it comes to Iyanla because just based on the Iyanla Fix My Life series and how I remember, because I didn't watch every single episode, but how I can remember scenes where (laughs) she was dealing with a man and she just seemed to be a lot more reserved, understanding, trying to continuously be there. The infamous episode with DMX, the late great DMX, who had a lot of life issues, right? I'll never forget that episode. I mean, he was he was going off, right? And we have seen Iyanla go off on women as if they were DMX. And so I really feel that there are a lot of women just are not feeling how she chose that moment to console and, and you know, give him grace and, and embrace him and give him some love and whatever. But um, she is who she is. And I'll, I'll never forget with Ebony K. Williams, and I spoke about that a few times, I really did feel that she was a bit harsh on Ebony when when in all actuality, Ebony wasn't really asking her for her own personal advice for her own life. It was an interview that was being had on the grill, on a show that she was hosting at the time. And the way Iyanla chose to answer Ebony K. Williams's question with a question to say, would you date a bus driver? And you know, and it was, she allowed it, I will say, she allowed it to be turned into something that was meant to be a jab at Ebony. They say, oh, she looks down on people who have regular jobs and who does she think she is? Like she has the right to choose who she wants to date or not date. Just like Jonathan Majors had the right to choose who he wanted to date and not date. And based on the history that most people know of him, his preferences seem to be women that did not look like himself or Iyanla. So yeah, that's why a lot of people feel the way that they feel and they don't really feel anything when it comes to him. And a lot of people feel like Megan Good is just with this guy because it's a contractual agreement. I don't know. When I first saw it, I did kind of feel that way. But after all this time has gone by, I don't think he has the coins like that to keep keep paying her in my personal opinion. I do believe that she genuinely 
is in a relationship with him. And I also feel that based on the information that came out during the time when the ex-girlfriend now, Jabari, was allegedly swinging on him in the car after a text message came through, I'm thinking the text message might have come from Megan Good and she saw the text message. I'm not giving an excuse for her to behave the way that she allegedly behaved because that happened, if that is how it happened. But it's been some time now. Megan's been going with him to court, holding hands. Both of them wearing sunglasses, matching together. Like, she's on the red carpets, going with him to the award shows, to the premieres, to the whatever it is that they're going to together. And she's standing by her man holding hands, kissing him, showing affection. But when it comes to Iyanla, at this point in time, that's just who she is. And I just feel that people really need to accept it and maybe even expect it if situations like this come up again because sometimes I do feel that she projects when it comes to women. Because she has had an unfortunate past in history when it comes to the relationships that she's had personally with men and even the things that she has gone through as a child where she has been violated. So it could have something to do with those things as well. She is claiming to be a healer. I've heard a lot of people say that she actually is a priestess witch. Listen, I don't know. I don't follow her like that. So I don't know exactly everything that she does or exactly everything that she believes in but I do understand a lot of people's thoughts when it comes to what they saw on that stage and and even with Jonathan <laughs> I'm, I'm not laughing at him breaking down and crying but yeah some people will wonder is it really genuine but to be honest with you I feel that it was a genuine moment of breaking down were there real tears being shed i don't know but i do believe that he has been feeling overwhelmed and has not had a public breakdown but i'm quite sure losing the the deals that you've had and acting the money that you knew you were going to be making that's not there anymore at least at this point in time and you don't know if it will ever come back around again like it did and if it does, when will it be? That hurts. So yeah, that definitely hurts. So I'm quite sure those pockets were hurting. He's feeling it in the pressure of all of that. You will have your moments of breaking down. He is a human being. We all are worthy at some point in time, if we repent, worthy of forgiveness. But there is really no forgiveness without repentance. And I'm not saying he needs to ask for forgiveness from me or repent to me because I don't know him personally. He's never done anything to me. I really could care less, but he probably does have some things that he needs to atone for because I don't believe everyone was lying. A lot of people that were coming out saying things about him, they were not very friendly thoughts about Jonathan Majors. They said a lot of things about him being arrogant, a lot of, not that that's a crime, but a lot of things about him being arrogant and even a lot of things about him being aggressive, you know? And it's easy for people to say, oh, they just wanted to tear this black man down. But there have been a lot of black men who have had opportunities in the past and you have not heard things come out about these people like that. So that's just not true. I don't believe that that's true about, oh, they just want to tear this black man down. I just believe that he had some issues in the past that he has not atoned for he has not repented of and he probably got to this place because he still had that arrogance about himself where he was just thinking that nothing's stopping him now and then unfortunately it it stopped for now and so i do believe that it was a a moment of breaking down where he was feeling the pressure and yeah, go ahead and embrace him, Ayanla. Give him a hug. You know, minister in his ears. Say what you need to say to him to help him to be able to say what you need to say to accept your award and, you know, be along your merry way. But yeah, a lot of people just were not feeling it. They weren't buying it. They weren't there for it. I could care less either way. Like Mama D said, <laughs> everybody deserved to be loved. Even if 
<laughs> you may not be loved by everyone. Somebody's going to love you. And so I guess Yanla was there to let him know, baby, I love you. I'm here and don't give up. So anyway, you can let me know what you think about it, but I was asked my thoughts on it. I'm just getting around to sharing my thoughts on it with you guys and lo would love to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section. Thanks so much for being here, liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm gonna say bye.